my family always loved to eat pizza, pasta, and any kind of, I call it garbage food. This is oh, a that's, ham. That's the ham. We buy about five, six boxes of scalloped potatoes, three or four of these, mix it together, fantastic meal. David loved soda, pizza, ice cream. When David was young, I always got him what he wanted. I rarely eat green vegetables. He was a big kid, and at 300 pounds, he looked okay. Looked like he was going to be a good football player, so I didn't say too much. David, in 11th grade, dropped out of school because they were making fun of him. He was fat. So I just kind of let it go. Looking back, I think I should have been more assertive, but I don't think I would have done anything different. Right now, my son David lives off of disability. I don't make David pay any rent or any bills. When David wants food, he orders it online, and I go down and pick it up for him. He doesn't get any sugar sodas, because I make sure if there's sugar sodas in there, it stays there at the market. But I notice any time you try to control David's eating, he'll find a way to get food. <laughs> He's like a drug addict, like an alcoholic. Voila, Pepsi. I can't stop my son from eating too much. I could do better, but I just don't do it. I think one of the... Um First questions I have for you is, do you recognize that this is a huge health issue, right? Yes. And are you concerned about that? Very concerned. I, I said before, I, every morning, I listen to hear him try to get up or get up, because the minute I hear him get up or cough, I know he's gonna be alive today. Well, that's a terrible way to live as a father, to wake up every day and wonder if your child's gonna be alive. But you said something that just did not fit in my ear. You said, looking back, I wouldn't do anything differently. I, I don't know. I, I know one thing. If David dies, I'm gonna blame myself, no matter what. I'm just gonna blame myself. I think I could've probably done something different or better, but I just don't do it, or I just don't know how to do it, or. I'm just not capable of doing it. Well, that was the second thing that jumped out at me the most. You said, I can do better, I just don't. Sugary sodas, no way, but he just finds a way, ha, ha, ha. Like, it's yeah, funny. Yeah, that was, that was a, I didn't like that. I saw that too, and it, it didn't look good for me either, you know, so. His, if I see him with sugary sodas, I, I confiscate him or I, don't, I won't buy him for him. I pick up his food. I see anything that's fattening in there, I won't buy it for him. Yeah. So. Well, here, here's, here's what you said. Voila, Pepsi. <laughs> huh? Pepsi and a, there's another bottle down here, but I'm sticking my hand in there. I don't know what's on there. <laughs> that's a terrible laugh, but you know, that's his stash. He's like a drug addict, you know, alcoholic. You got your stashes. David hides stuff from me. I don't see it. You know, I found that. I didn't even know that was there. And my, my question is, how is that funny to you? There's nothing in the world we can do with you if everybody around you is sabotaging you. It all comes down to me. I'm telling you, if everybody around you is buying your and sabotaging you, it ain't gonna change. Yeah. I promise you, there is not one thing you can do mentally or emotionally. There's not one thing you can do willpower wise. I call it white knuckling, where you're just gonna get through this just white knuckling. Yeah. Willpower is a myth. It's fickle. When you're all gung-ho and fired up, then you're great. The time that you need to be on task is when you don't feel like it. When you don't feel fired up, when you don't have the energy to get up and do the things you need to do, that's when, you, that's when you need to stick with it the most, and that's where willpower lets you down, because willpower is fueled by emotion. It kind of worked, but it didn't really work. You put in a lot of work. And I, a lot. And let me tell you, I, I, I salute your work. That was not easy. You put in a lot of work, but you didn't finish, you didn't close the loop.